The Santam Agriculture National Silage Competition is in its 10th year and I'm now chatting to Daniel Stevens who's from Santam and they have been the name sponsor since the inception of the competition. Daniel, as I've just men mentioned, Santam has been the main sponsor of the project for 10 years. What has this involvement meant for Santam? Uh, thanks Deirdre. The involvement has been excellent. I think we it's one of our most important competitions. Uh, the last 10 years has been really significant. We've had over 100 entries uh, on, a, on an annual basis and, and people are re-entering every year as well. And I think that just shows the, the value that it's also adding to the, to, 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 to the farmers, as well as some of the information that's coming out uh, of these, uh, out of the competition. So we really appreciate uh, the opportunity to be involved with the competition and we hope to do so for many more years going forward. We hope so as well. Tell me, what's on the horizon for Santan? Wow, uh, that's a big question, Deirdre. I think there's, uh, within the insurance industry, there's, uh, there's a lot of opportunity. Uh, we're about risk management, and I think in today's uh, environment, risk is on, the, on, on top of the agenda for many businesses, and that's where Santam wants to play a role. Uh, we're not just offering insurance, I think we're offering more of a, a risk package to engage with our clients and our brokers. Uh, in order to, to mitigate their risk, ultimately put, put them into the position they were before any unforeseen eventuality happened. Um, from a crop perspective, the, the changing weather, the changing climate is also impacting our farmers. I think we hear at Nampo today also because of the farmer. Uh, that's also where sometimes sees uh, a significant role that we play. We're the largest uh, insurer in the crop insurance space. Um, this last season we've paid over 605 million rands worth of claims, uh, damage due to hail damage, and we think that's significant and that just adds back and gives back into the farming community in order to make sure that the farmers are, are sustainable, that, that, that they, they have businesses that are sustainable going forward. On the topic of risk management, you have an experimental farm in Bloemfontein. Tell me a bit more about that. What do you do there? Yeah, thanks. Uh, yeah, there we are. We're proud of that farm. I think we, the, the farm has been part of Santam uh, for many years. Uh, we do hail simulations there. So part of the experience in crop insurance is doing the assessment of the claim. Uh, so for us, with, with new varieties coming on the market every single year regarding maize or soya beans, uh, we, we need to understand how to do the claims assessment. So we do trials on the farm. Uh, and those trials uh, provide input to how we do our claims assessment. Uh, so this year as well, we, they're currently actually having a look at what the outcome of the, the, the trials were from the health simulations. And we don't, don't only do it on our farm as well. We've got about six locations around the country purely due to different environments, different geographies and the different uh, areas around the country where we do simulations. But the farm that we own is just outside of Bloemfontein and you know, we, we really gain a lot of insight into the, 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 the crop, not only the crop insurance space, but also the different varieties and how they grow and also how they react to hail damage. That's fantastic. And then tell me, load shedding, we all know that it's here to stay. From a crop insurance point of view, what have you been experiencing and what's happening on the insurance side? Now the, the load shedding is predominantly affecting farmers that use irrigation as an example uh, from the crop perspective. Uh, so there's been quite a bit of talks with the uh, Agri-SA for example, there was a meeting at the beginning of the year with the, the minister um, in order to address some of the issues, uh, some of the plans that came out of that to, uh, to, to help support uh, the farmer in terms of the impact of load shedding because it's significant. A, I think it's about 20-25% percent of, of crop are produced under irrigation, uh, so it's significant. And ultimately, these farmers feel it in their pocket when there's load shedding. And you know, we, we certainly need, need to devise strategies uh, in order to mitigate that risk with, uh, with, with the farmer. What are some of the strategies that insurance companies have been implementing in this in this particular space? Yeah, well, with from a load shedding point of view, more on the asset side, there has been uh, communication with brokers as well as clients around grid failure. Uh, I think the there is a an understanding that we could face grid failure in the future. Obviously, it's 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 not certain, uh, and and we don't see that as a an accidental event. Remember, insurance is accidental. 
so yeah, we, we have made some changes to our, our policies over the last few months just in order to, go to, 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 to mitigate the risk from an insurer perspective as well and also to make sure that the client uh, is, is uh, compensated in a, in a correct manner. So we are, we are constantly communicating because it's a changing landscape as well. Um, and, and we, from a business persp uh, perspective, need to be at, on, the, on the forefront. Thank you very much, Daniel. Thank you. There you have it. That was Daniel Stevens. Be sure to watch this space as there are more interviews coming with the Sansom Agriculture National Silage Competition prize sponsors.